And while all of us hope the time never comes where something like this occurs again, neighboring cities in Hampton Road say it's important to learn from what happened. 10 on your side's Brett Hall joins us in the newsroom with what's now going to be mandatory for Norfolk City employees. Brett? Yeah, well, Norfolk City manager Anita says that there's already been active shooter training ongoing in the city for several years. However, now it will be a requirement for everybody. And while the police department will handle that, there is now talk that there's going to be an outside security expert coming in to take a look at city buildings. The morning after a city employee in Virginia Beach killed 12 people and injured four others in a shooting at the municipal center, Police Chief Jim Severa said this when responding to a question about the security at the building where the carnage happened. It's an open government building. Citizens have the right to access open government buildings. Employees have a right to access their work site. It's an open government building. But could even an open government building become safer? If we can do anything to make things better, now is the time. Leaders in the cities of Suffolk, Portsmouth, and Norfolk. You know, there are some things that we need to do. Say yes. Norfolk's former police chief, now deputy city manager Michael Goldsmith, told city council last week that they are looking to hire a security expert to come look at City Hall and all their other offices to see if structural and procedural changes are necessary. Remember, in Virginia Beach's case, Chief Severa said responding officers had to make their way through what he described as a maze because of how the building was remodeled over the years. What that will do is guide us in the building of our security strategy. A strategy that Goldsmith says focuses mainly on the city's more than 5,000 employees. We want to make sure we do a complete policy review of our HR policies, where it comes to workplace violence, where it comes to how we treat each other. He says ultimately, we are the first line of defense. That being said, tomorrow the Norfolk City Council expects to vote on a resolution that supports Governor Northam's legislative packet incurring gun regulations. City Mayor uh, Kenny Alexander said last week that he is very supportive of that change, not only in Virginia Beach's case, but also to combat the recent violence problem in Norfolk. Live in the newsroom tonight, Brett Hall, 10 on your side.